Okay. Where's it at? Wait there, so it don't get lost. So, hello everyone. As you can see, there's a whole bunch of stuff here again as we go through more pickups. More new delightful stuff. And it's just probably best to get some of the bigger stuff out of the way here. So, recently, uh, Best Buy had like a mass clearing of everything related to Lego Dimensions. So, there are the two story sets that I got. I got them for $7.99. So, Legos are usually expensive. So, um, I thought, you know, a playset thing you get for $7.99 was pretty good. So, that was the Ghostbuster one. Not Nothing amazing. I haven't watched The Beast, uh, which is supposed to take place in the Harry Potter, the Fantastic Beast. Um, it's supposed to take place in the Harry Potter universe, from what I understand. But uh, $7.99 at Best Buy. As far as I last seen, literally nothing, nothing else is at, actually, let me get one more thing here, but uh, nothing else Lego Dimensions related is even on Best Buy anymore. They had literally thrown everything to the wind, so that was just kind of surprising now. Let's see, a whole bunch of different things, some few goodwill pickups wow that what's with the screenshot of the horrible <laughs> what the the hobbit the wank the whack and weaken and base hobbit cartoon what dan has no taste throw him at it. throw him in the proving down grounds dungeon throw him down now want some want some nice artwork man anyway uh Darkfall, The Journey. I think I have a older copy of this or that, but uh, this was a pristine copy. I'm not sure. I think I bought a copy of that before, but I was like, eh, what? There's something weird I did get at the Goodwill was a solitary game, but it's a Sierra, a Sierra complete box, and it's in very good condition. Has all its original packaging in there, and I mean, considering, uh, I believe it says it's yeah, it's for Windows 95, for Windows 95, and it's in such pristine condition. So it, that was kind of hard to pass up. Sierra stuff's always really nice in my opinion, so that that's kind of hard to just like whoop pass that up. But that, but that's that's just it's just me. Uh, something I got on Amazon cheap. Uh, Under Night in Both. Uh, this is a fighting game. I think I got it for like ten dollars or something on some Amazon sale. So um, I'm not really familiar with this. It's by Arc System, which made Guilty Gear on that. So I would, I would think it's pretty good. I would think. Uh, so many things to go through here. Uh, that's more of a different note. Uh, we call Definitive Edition. Um, I got that for four bucks off of Amazon. So that's another Xbox One game I can't do anything with. But it was brand new for four bucks. I've seen some footage of the game. It looked all white. So if I ever, 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 ever get Xbox One, uh, that's another one I was slightly interested in. But that's still too much money for system to me with very few things I'm interested in. How you doing by the way today Dan? Let's see. A Vita game that I've been meaning to get for a long time. Sorcery Saga Course of the Great Koi God. Uh, this was a very early Vita game. It's a rogue dungeon crawl. Very food related that so um, I got a sealed copy. I hate this phone. The signal sucks. Well, I can't help you with that, Dan, sadly. I can't help you. Um, I also got uh, Coded the Realization, the Future Blessings. Um, there were two games of this. There's a third one that I think got recently announced for localization. This is a visual novel series. I got this, I think, for $15 off Amazon on sale. They were having a lot of the... There's a, um, the Vita copies are separate, and then there's a bundle version with the two on the PS4. And the PS4 version was like $10 more, and I already had the first Vita game, so there wasn't really that big of a point for me to get it. Uh, Lollipop Chainsaw, I actually did a little bit of a stream of that. I actually 
um, would like to throw that on my stream. Uh, I actually enjoyed that. It was a pretty good hack and slash. So I think I would like to do a one of that. Let's see. Now, here's some stuff from a new limited company. Now, I recently found out there's a lot of new limited companies, and a lot of them are in Europe, oddly. So, some of the stuff here is actually from them. So, so this one's come from a exclusive Switch provider uh, called Super Whale. And I bought Shelter Generations, which is Shelter 2, and it's DLC... I think it might have Shelter 1 on it also. I'm not really sure because it mentions this includes two games, but I'm not sure if it's including the DLC as a separate game or not. I'm kind of confused on that, so I'm not sure. I played the original Shelter on GOG before, so it was okay. A little indie game of that, so uh, I hope this one added a few more things, so I'm looking forward to trying that. And then Human Fall Flat. Um, this is supposed to be a physics type puzzle game. I played some of it. I uh, can't say it's too. Mm, I wouldn't say it's mind blowing, but uh, it's okay. Physics type uh, puzzle game. Let's see. I'm not the best mood, honestly, depressed, angry, and all on a rainy day, but enough about me. The lag is insane, by the way. I'm not home, and the video keeps buffering, so my comments will be way late. Well, I'm sorry about that. Uh, after this, if you want, uh, we can talk some of that. But there are some interesting goodies in here. Let's see. The best thing about Lollipop Chainsaw is the trophy achievement uh, that's gainable by purely lock in accident um i know there's the one where you look up or score um i believe that was on like some stupid list kotaku put on like the top 10 sexist trophies achievements or some shit because oh humor yeah <laughs> but enough of stupid uh journalist people um but actually uh out of the modern uh, Suda 51 games. Uh, that one's pretty good. Though, will be fair, I haven't played that other one called Kill. Uh, what? Um, oh, they're just books. That's okay. That's all right. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, actually, though, I forgot to get those. So, actually, <laughs> it's special delivery on uh, stuff. To be added in this. Um, two more books of that. So I just got those today. So um, I guess that kind of worked out. <laughs> Put those over here. Um, you mean the best. Let's see. The best thing about Lollipop Chainsaw isn't cute goals and skimpy outfits. That's the one. You can get by pure accident luck just by doing whole combos. Well, um, for my point so far, it didn't happen. So. Uh, I'm not sure, uh, how, how likely that is or not. Um, let's see. Kingo End of Nine. This, looking, looking at this looks like a way to samurai type game, looking at how it is. And I'm pretty sure that company is the company that makes way the samurai. So, I think this is by the developers of way the samurai. I'm not sure it was only... 239 at GameStop. I did a few red box flips with a promo thing where they, um, you got like 70% credit by trading in and purchasing a used game. So, uh, I had to buy something. So, that was something I bought during one of those trades. Uh, let's see. Ooh, so many different things to look at. Uh, I did get. Walmart is getting away with a lot of the Skylanders Imaginators. They had one of the the base things for the PS4 for seven bucks, so I bought one. Uh, there's one combo where she does a flip. Well, I was in the school stage, so I didn't get too far when I did the stream on that. So that wasn't super far. Okay, I want to save some of the little bizarre things for a little bit here. So let's get some of these books out of the way. So, some manga I got, Kingdom of Hearts, um, yeah, that's on Kingdom of Hearts 2, it's in really good condition, random Pokemon one, 
Now, a few of these are in not so good condition. They have... A few of them have stains and a lot of yellowing, but I've never heard of it, so for 50 cents, I was like, sure. I'm not aware of that. It's Tokyo Pop, so uh, I am aware of DNA Angel. I actually even own this one, so it'll probably be like a gift thing. Now, this one I was actually happy and sad because these ones have a lot of yellowing and some stains on them, so it's a bit of a shame, but uh, uh, El, El Exile Saga, Upaza. I liked the anime. I never read the manga, so um, there was that was two, and this is three, and was it one? Yes, there was one. So one, two, and three of the manga, and then two more books of that other one, which uh, this one was really bad. This one had a lot of stains. You could see the winkling there on that. So it was in pretty. I mean, none of the pages are stuck, but I've never heard of this. If you've heard of it, let me know what you think of it. I don't. I don't know anything of that one it looks like it has kind of a korean look to the art i'm not really sure but i never heard of that one uh let's see a little teeny little ds game that costed way too fucking much because it's for some reason this is a really rare ds game but uh far as i could tell it was wheel i did all my testings to check because it being one that's a little costly if I can actually get this little case, it came in open. Oh my goodness, I can't get this thing open. It's in a little teeny little freaking case. Eh, there. So, um, my, my World My Way is a Atlas published game. And actually some, I played a wee little bit. It actually kind of reminds me of that uh, that Leo game I beat recently and did a review on. Uh, this game's pricey. Um, about the cheapest you can get is about 30 bucks or more. And um, I saw a trusted... Because a lot of people, if you look at the people selling these on Amazon, a lot of them have uh, um, customer reviews saying they're selling pirated copies and shit. Um... So, I did all my ways of checking for privacy. Um, a really easy way is to pop into a 3DS since almost the mass majority of pirated original DS games do not work on a 3DS. That's one good way to throw that out the window. And I did all the usual kind of expect, uh, you know, looking at that. So, I don't see anything suspicious about it. So, um, this is not a really good game from what I've seen of it. But, um,. It's an Atlas game, and I like getting Atlas games, so maybe one day I'll play that and be like, yeah, I regret ever touching this thing. <laughs> uh, another Goodwill find. Now this, this I was surprised to find, a sealed copy. Now I have a loose copy of this I got from GameStop really cheap, because this, this game went up in price the last time I looked it up. This was $6.00. So, um, I'm not sure if I'll keep this for myself. I might want to look it up, see if it's worth something still. If it is, I might consider, I might consider selling it for a little or something. Like, not, you know, a lot of that, but, um, just got a really funny line by Anne whilst exploring the mementos, by the way. Oh, there was a few I got. Um, we usually sung, uh... I've been walking on the railroad, and then Mona finished it up with that. Um, there was also a funny one where Mona was trying to ask Anne to go for, like, a walk at the beach or something, and then Yosuke's like, oh, can I come? <laughs> it's like, no. No, you can't. So let's go through a few, uh, a few of the weird goodies. So another limited company is this one. Uh, what is it called again? Strictly Limited. So... One game I got from them was Immortal Redneck. It's a first-person shooter that takes place in Pharaoh, Egypt. And you play a redneck who gets fucking mummified and becomes immortal. This is like a strange mix of um, rogue elements, dungeon crawling, and if you ever played Rogue's Legacy, it has a mechanic just like Rogue Legacy, where um, you when you get kicked out... You spend the money upgrading your character, and then when you go in, you lose all your money. So, it has an interesting system now. 
Um, it's not very graphical. It's very silly. It, it's like Rogue Legacy's uh, leveling up system, Rogue Elements, and uh, Serious Sam all had children uh, that mold a redneck. <laughs> that would be more redneck. Uh, another one I got was Bunny Must Die Christothea and the Seven Devils. Um, this is a Metroidvania game, a very anime Metroidvania game. It's, uh, pretty interesting. Um, it's not, like, mind-blowing graphics, but it looks, it looks all right. I played a little bit. It's definitely not an easy Metroidvania game, and I actually like some of the interesting ideas it does. Um, it doesn't have a leveling system. It's not a level-up type Metroidvania game, but you can turn on abilities that you can buy and use during the game to make it easier, or leave them off and make it really hard. So, it has like a time mechanic system where you can slow down time. Let's see. There are a few good one-liners. The problem is that they're so random. And good luck hearing them again. Uh, I've heard some. I... You probably best odds or probably to do a lot of grinding to, listen, to hear most of them. It's getting tight. Oh, yeah. I've... <laughs> um, you need to tell us about those support things. <laughs> I must open I don't remember Morgana replying that. I do remember Anne saying that line, though. I might open the door or something when that happened, maybe. I don't remember that reply with Morgana. So... Let's see a few other Amazon buys. Oh, and the uh, super strictly super games come with postcards, so I guess I might as well show this other one that I got called uh, Knights of the Pen and Paper Deluxe Edition, which of course came with a postcard as well. Um, I have not played this. This is an RPG that's like using a theme of. Um, uh, being like at a D and D table with visuals, um, it's very pixelated. It looked interesting, so I haven't tried this one yet, but it looked interesting. Now those were all sold out. I got them uh, from a this this uh, company here. They were a little pricey, but they were about thirty forty bucks cheaper than the scalping prices on on uh, eBay. So. So I guess that's a, a little um, thing there. They did strictly uh, limited. Did do a number of other games. They're all sold out. I do have one more that's coming sh directly from Strictly Limited. Uh, besides that, the other titles um, are incredibly well and probably won't get in my hands anytime soon. Let's see. Some of the lines have multiple replies, but also uh, as only one killer replies at the time, you need to hear the line multiple times to get other replies. Ooh, I, I wasn't aware of that, that there were different replies to the lines. I haven't noticed that. Hmm. I have not noticed that. And that might be why. Let's see. We'll save some of those for a little bit here. Now, some Amazon buys I got. I finally got the newest Star Ocean game. I think I got it for 12 bucks on Amazon. So, I was like, eh, why not? I thought it's uh, all right. Uh, the Sorge. Uh, this is a Souls-style game, like a sci-fi Souls game. I uh, hear the interesting mechanic in this game is, like, if you see something you want, like, they're wielding a weapon you want. You can chop their arm off so you can get that weapon from them. Um, I have not really watched anyone play this game, but I heard a few people's opinions. That was okay. I heard it's um, a lot better uh, than... Um, what was that? That game that was way back when the PS4 first came out. Um... Lords of the Fallen. I hold it's way better than Lords of the Fallen, so. Let's see. There's also Will Yosuke mentions. <laughs> uh, yes. Um, I think they, they were saying something about trying to drink water, and Yosuke said that. Um, I hold that one, too. Uh, Viking Werewolves of Midgard. Now, this claims to be the... True competitor to the Diablo series. It looks pretty good on the back. I'm not sure how good. I mentioned it to Dan before. It is two-player online. So I need to check this out. Because 
Um, if this is more competent than the Titan's Quest without bugs, but still challenging, unlike Diablo 3, then I would probably agree with this, but, uh, this, but I, I have not played it yet, so I don't know. Titan's Quest sadly is build Diablo 3, in my opinion, but it's sadly also buggy, at least the console version. I not I would assume the PC version is probably, uh, better. <laughs> Let's see. Now, I do got... I got a lot of the limited stuff here. Ugh. Let's see. I got Wandor the Clouded Ketchel Chronicles. I think this is supposed to be like a Zelda style game. Now this is the European version. We do got this in America. But this was like $5 cheaper than it was in America. And I was getting some other limited games from uh, the, uh, what they call the Single Edition. Um... Yeah, Central Edition. So uh, I figured I'd get this with two Central Editions that I bought. Yeah, I was way off Central Edition. I just um, they seem to have a lot of copies, unlike uh, a lot of the other limited co companies. So I didn't make it a big priority to go. It's like oh, I gotta get there on day one. Um, I could never want, understand why the game was supposed to be in Japan, but all the characters seem to be American. Uh, which game are we talking about here? What, 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 what? Are we still talk? Are you talking about Persona there, or? Let's see, is it a recent game? I'm, the, I'm not sure which game you might be talking about. I'm not sure. <laughs> Dan could also be really far, like far behind, so I may not have any idea what he's trying to apply to. Now, of course, I bought this. I heard everyone is losing their mind. Saying this is the best fucking thing Square Enix has released in, like, forever. And even Square Enix is saying they'll revise, like, um, revitalizing uh, nostalgic RPGs like this. Probably because the great... Set like, apparently they publicly apologized two times in Japan because uh, this ran out of copies, apparently. And that also happened here, but we, of course, we're not going to get a public apology. But uh, that's really mind-boggling. Uh, so, um, I'm really excited to give this a try in the future, hopefully. Um, probably when I get Persona 5 done, I might consider putting that on the table. I don't need another gigantic RPG right now. Um, see, well, Dan got Titan's Quest instead of Vikings. Well... Uh, I only got the Vikings recently. I think, um, what was that? I think I got for 18. Oh, I bought the German version of Persona 5 because it was 10 cheaper than the UK version. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, as long as it has the language you can read, it's not a big deal what version you will get, so. Uh, let's see. Another Amazon buy. I think I got this for twenty nine nine nine. I think it usually goes for forty nine nine nine. Uh, the Lost Child. Now NIS published this in America. Uh, this is supposed to be a lot like the uh, STM series, Shimon Tensei series, uh, where you get demons and such. So. I hold this is pretty good. Um, it's on Switch, Vita, and PS4, I believe. Oh, obviously PS4, because that's what I'm holding. But um, I think it's on Vita in the Switch. So um, that might be something we want to look forward to. Let's see, something else I got. Let's see, both of these are things I got from doing wood box flipping. Uh, this one is called Wheelie Special Edition. Um, I played some of this. It's kind of a puzzle platform all game. Um, it's very humorous from what I played. Uh, this is supposed to come with a soundtrack, but this I got used for eleven ninety nine, so um, it's actually not too bad from what I played. Uh, let's see, is that the version where Hitler is in Mementos? No, that's Persona Two. Uh, even the German version is in English. Yeah, most most PAL UK versions have English in them. It's pretty well to find one that doesn't. I know there's um. A very small amount that will meant for some other areas, um, but uh, it's pretty common that they usually have English. It's not very common for them not to. Um, I was talking about Persona Four before. Yes, what was the question again? Eh. Okay, what do you say again? 
I can never understand why the game was supposed to be in Japan, but all the characters seem to be American. Um, as far as I understand, the one teacher that wears purple in Anne are foreigners. Anne, uh, Anne's family are models outside of Japan, so... Um, Aside from them, as far as I understand, everyone else is Japanese, so... Let's see, what you talk about Hitler in every version, only he goes by the name of Sha <laughs> Hotty ha ha. I mean, come on, Hitler was in Persona 2, so I mean, isn't that good enough for that? Uh, one more game, I believe this is the only one I got when I did some red box flipping during that deal, um, was Lost the Video Game, um, for the PS3. It was very cheap, so that worked out. I did play a little of this, it's pretty fucking awful, honestly. Has not aged well. Has not aged well. I don't, I hardly know anything about Lost, so. I thought maybe it might be vaguely interesting. Told you, um, yeah, that's what I said. That it's probably incredibly delayed. Let's see. Now, these are from another limited. This is from no limited. Let's see. Heels. Something that isn't limited. Limited. How much limited stuff is left here? Let's see. That, that. Technically, these are also limited. So, <laughs> got a lot of limited stuff. So, um, I did buy the new Shining game. Um, I did want to support, because I like a lot of the old Shining games. The only Shining games I really didn't like was, um, Teals. Teals is awful. Teals only had any success because the artist drew porn. Drew hentai. Um, it's a pretty bad game. Let's see, the only characters with any American ancestry is Anne... Also, parents of fashion designers. Well, you know what I mean. They're, they're in the fashion world. She's a foreigner. She, she, I think her social link has made pretty clear Anne was a foreigner at that point. So, um, I found the case kind of interesting. Uh, you know, like a lot of these, it has that. But instead of having a steel case, it has a slip cover. It's kind of different. I don't think I've seen something like that. But, um... It looks okay, and it also looks like they all going very waifu -y in this. But uh, from what I've seen, this actually looks like a good Shining game. So, uh, if you don't mind a little waifu ness in your game and that. But uh, yeah, that's kind of a strange thing. But this was a launch edition. It was the steel case is part of the launch edition, so that wasn't any extra. But I wanted to support the Shining series. I like the majority of the Shining games, mostly the old ones, but a few, there's a few new ones and a few imports, like Shining Fellow on the DS is actually like the Shining Force games. Most of the PS2 games are either mediocre or really bad. But, um, so she she has some Japanese in her? So Paul her family's Japanese? Hmm. I don't know. Enough through her Italian social link, so. Okay, so, let's see, before we get to all these limited stuff, well, maybe, maybe throw one more limited thing, go through those, and then show off the last. So, these, these titles I'm going to show off, these ones I had taken out of the proper packaging, and I left one in its packaging. So, this limited company is called Game Fairy, and they put all the games in this box. All of these came in this box, and they... As far as I can tell, they all come with some kind of little trinket. So, I think this one comes with, like, a map. I just added pre-opened on the top of that. Uh, this one's probably the worst cover out of the four titles, too. This is a very, some kind of pixelated RPG. I don't know much about it. Uh, these were all on sale. They had a lot of copies, apparently. I think I only paid, like, anywhere between $10 to $15 for these different titles. So, they're pretty cheap. Uh, this comes with, it looks like a postal, um, oh, soundtrack, well, that is weird, so it got a booklet and a soundtrack disc, oh, and a, it had a pin inside the soundtrack, <laughs> hope that ain't messed up, no, so you get a cheap soundtrack thing for 38 songs, that's actually a lot of songs for some kind of pixelated thing, a little, Game Fairy pin, and it looks like a manual. 
that for some reason ain't in the actual game itself. Well, that's well that stuff will be going well the disc and that little pin I'll have to put somewhere else. But yeah, that's they put stuff in the back compartment and have the game on display. And the game is sealed; it's not open or anything. So they do give you the game sealed. Kind of odd, but makes the product stand out from the competition. So, but um, nothing too special with those. Let's see. Also, the shining is really like the Tales. Here. Yeah, that that newest one looks like it plays like a Tales game. So that's kind of hard to fuck up too. But then again, it wouldn't be the first time that uh, a Tales game got fucked up. Uh, this one is a simple RPG. I played a little bit of it. Um, it. Graphically, it's not too good. It's pretty simple, but uh, it uses cards in combat. That so it's it's kind of okay. Puzzle game, bridge constructor. This was like ten dollars. Um, it's very goofy, silly. You try to make a bridge. You you'll have a scenario. Make a bridge where the cars can get all the way across it's pretty silly and i haven't opened this one toby the secret mine it looks like some kind of um limbo puzzle kind of game thing from what i've seen so that was also really cheap uh toby came with this oversized little bag thing nothing too special there um the Shadow Engine game here came with a actual walking compass. And then Bridge Constructor came with these, which I'm not really sure what they're supposed to be. Coasters? I don't really know. Um, I'd say probably the most interesting, and to be fair, I only played these two, but this one I'd say is the most interesting out of them so far. But I have tried the other two, so... See, games don't have manuals in them anymore. They expect gamers to have, to know how to play or be able to access the internet. Um, I kind of can't blame them from getting rid of manuals. When I start get um, before I did dumpster diving, I always bitched about that. But after doing dumpster diving for a long time. I can't blame them for getting rid of manuals. Do you? You've no, at least in the West. Uh, in Japan, that's kind of stupid. But to be fair, a number of games still come with manuals in Japan, but it is lessening a lot more. Like, Oli Vita, they were still getting some books, and now they're actually not getting books. Or very small paper cutouts of things. But, um. GameStop destroyed and threw away so much crap. So. I can't, it's like, well, this stuff's just ending up in a dumpster. Why should we pay money to keep making this shit? I mean, I, I, I can't really blame them too much for that. But um, I haven't played these other two games, so I can't really comment. But these were all very cheap. Um, they were from, like I said, Game Fairy, if you're interested in any of them. Um, they still had copies of all these tiles the last time I looked. Um, and they, they came very well packaged. They are overseas. So you might pay just, I think it was like $6 for shipping them. So it wasn't like super lot. So that wasn't too bad. Let's see. Well, I mean, you know, if you have a good in-game tutorial, you don't really need the manual then. Unless you're DSP. <laughs> Then maybe you 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 might be screwed then, <laughs> no matter what. <laughs> so, okay, so two more objects before we go through some more uh, limited stuff that's in bigger box things that we're gonna open up. So Arizona Sunshine, uh, as far as I know, the only physical version of this is in PAL territory, so I imported a copy. Um, I did do kind of a live stream test thing uh, through my PS4 to try and see if I could cheat, uh, see chat with it. And that worked okay, so that's probably what I'm going to do with some VR games. Um, I'm trying to pressure Dan into getting this because it has co-op. So everyone bug him, bug him, spam him, spam his comment section. Say, we want to see Arizona Sunshine. Do it. Anyway, um, Adam's Ventral Chronicles. Now, if you've watched my channel for quite a while, back in the early PS4 
when I got my PS4, um, I got a Adam's Ventures game for the PS4. That was a reimagining of its original game, which is this. This actually had a physical version on the PS3. So this is the original Adam's Venture. Now, there were a lot of differences in some puzzles, like the whole whip mechanic in the PS4 version ain't even in this game, as far as I understand. Um, they're very different in a lot of ways. So I'm not sure how big of a difference, but I can tell you even visually, like, all oh, the characters look different. So um, this was cheap on Amazon, a seller who was selling it. So I was like, Joel, sure, I think it was like nine bucks. So. I was like, why the hell not? Um, also, a couple years of developer, publisher, deletes the site and page with the manual on it. Um, you know, it's kind of surprising how many video games uh, pages are still up. There's quite a few that still have their pages up. Um, I'm trying to... There was no... I believe there was a PS2 one that um, Shadow Kaja King... I don't know about now, but I remember um, someone pointed out its home page was still up. That was a PS2 game. That a really interesting one. Let's see. Yeah, M's Venture for the PS4 and I. I don't know about that one. I mean, it wasn't like the worst thing I ever played. Um, I got to chuckle out some of the lines. Like the 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 final villain at the end for the PS4 version was like the most stereotypical dumbass I've ever seen, though. Um, okay, Dan, I'll see you later, man. Um, it had a few interesting ideas, but yeah, it wasn't a perfect game or anything. I, that PS4 game I got pretty cheap, too, if I remember correctly, so. So, okay, so these will, this is a Play Asia one. Okay, so Play Asia Limited Signature. So, the loose set Limited Signature, Super Meat Boy for the PS4, um, America does not have a physical version. As far as I know, the only physical version is um, for the console. At least. So, it is a physical PC version. Let's see. So, if you got the game used or some time after the game's released, you're boned if the game doesn't have a manual. Well, pretty much. I mean, a lot of used games don't usually get their manuals because GameStop destroyed a lot of them. People lose them or threw them away themselves or... Stuff like that, so. But, um, I played Super Meat Boy on the PC before, so, uh, this was cheap. It was, like, ten bucks, so I went and bought. Um, another limited edition game, Slain, Bla uh, Slain Back from Hell. Um, this is a, a standard edition of it. Um, it does have a box edition, like these two I'm going to show off in a little bit here. Let's see, these are in the wrong pal, actually. Those are supposed to be there. <coughs> Ooh, bless me. Ooh. Um, but uh, this kind of looks like a Metroid. It's either going to be just a side-scrolling game, or it might be a little Metroidvania. It's very um, you probably won't be able to see it too well in the, but it's very pixelated, side-scrolling looking. So I'm not sure if it's a Metroidvania game or just solely a side-scrolling game. So I'm not really quite sure on that. So, I got the the Long Weech, which it looks like it's some kind of whole pixelated kind of thing it looks like. And then the Count to uh, Luncano, Lutacano. This is a pixelated looking game. So, I think the Luncano, that's what it's at. Now, uh, as far as I understand, the thing with these uh, signature editions is the developers sign around the box. So, that's my understanding. supposed to be the thing with these limited editions of these. So, let's go. I've never gotten any of these before from signature. So, let's see what kind of stuff comes with these. Yeah. Yeah, got Got a lot of these limited stuff here. I didn't know a Dachi is white. What? <laughs> what? What? Are you trying to say I'm with a Dachi? Don't make me throw you... Throw you around, you know. So 
let's see what we got. And these were pretty cheap. I think I only paid about $19 for these. Um, they were getting low on them. So if you're interested in any of these from Signature Edition, you might want to look into that now. Because the bad thing with a lot of these limited editions are um, scalpels. Scalpels are just being cancerous with this stuff. So, eh, of course, it's a willy, willy tight. See if I can... Ah, there we go. That went a lot easier. So let's see what we get in these, because I never got one. Wow, that's just really in now. There's one thing. There we go. So we get the game. Nothing different about the game. Got a nice old case. I. If you're going to go the cheap route, these are the kind of ways I appreciate with the cheap route. Uh, I'm not a fan of just a little slip thing and just slide it in. I mean, uh, you get a soundtrack with 19 tracks on it. And the development and project introductory. So, basically a game manual it looks like. Um, not really much. It looks like a little script that has some sprites in there and that, so... But, um, yeah, it doesn't look like it's a game manual. It looks more like it's just talking about the game, the characters and such, and shows a few backgrounds. So, that's a nice little thing. Not too much in there. Like I said, that wasn't really expensive. Now, I think the really early versions of these came with, like, special coins, I think. Which are, of course, all sold out now. So, right now, Central Edition is doing a game called, um, was it Candle Night or something? It's something to do with candles. I pre-ordered a normal edition because the, the, um, the Central Edition, I think, was either $39 or $49, I think. And I think the standard was either $19 or $29, I I can't remember, I just went with Standard because it was cheaper. Like I said, I got these because they weren't sale, so they weren't expensive. Oddly enough, the Standard editions for these were sold out, if I remember correctly, so that's another reason I had to buy the uh, Signature editions. But they weren't very expensive, so. Can I get this one to slip open e just as easy as the other one did? There we go. So I'm going to assume it probably has something similar where it has a soundtrack to game and some little extra. Yeah, so it looks like you get a little booklet, soundtrack, and the game. So uh, at least the cover on that has a little different artwork. And I have not played either of these two, so I don't know much about the game. So soundtrack, 13 titles. Again, the slightly cheap method, but uh, like I said, I perform that way if you're going to go the cheap route. And, uh, this is art book, so it has sprite stuff in it. So, yeah, it comes with a little code art book then. Some background sprites, kill those, so that's nice. Nothing bad there. And then some Plate Asia exclusives I got. Rainbow Skies. This is just a standard edition. This is a sequel to a game. Limited One did a uh, physical version of the game before this. I can't win it. It's Rainbow something. I can't remember what it was called. Then we got three boxed Limited One games here. And they all came with stickers. So this goes with that, that, and that. And this goes with this. So the newest one out of these I got, I don't even know how to pronounce this. Uh, I believe it's a bullet hell type game. So. And uh, they were doing PS4 and Switch with this, if I remember quickly. I got copy 2,540 of this one. Not too bad. I think they did... Um, 4,000 copies of this, I think. And it came with a stickle. Honestly, I'm getting way too many of these stickles and postcards and cards. Oh, yeah, that, uh, that limited company, uh, Super Whale, 
Um, they also came with very nice, high-quality cards, actually. They're, they're a lot better than Limited Ones cards, in my opinion, the material they use. Like, I like the design of how Limited Ones artwork is, but the material it's made out of, the ones that Super Whale did, feels way better quality, so... Um, I would look into that if anyone for Limited One Games was watching this, which I doubt. It became big enough to actually be popular with big people instead of small people now, so. So, let's see. But yeah, this is some kind of bullet hell type game. Uh, I hate when it's hard to get the flaps open. Yeah, just gonna have to pull. Old fashioned way. Yeah. Let's see. So, of course, it got the game, but I'm not sure. All of these have came with soundtracks, but sometimes they've came with some other goodies. So, we do get a soundtrack, and again, uh, it's fashioned like the Sega Saturn uh, type games where it has a spine artwork thing. I like these. These are very nice. It's a shame that Japan only got those and America didn't. And, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to hit that. I got a big postcard with a number and some lovely artwork on the back. And it looks like nothing else in there in particular. So that one didn't come with too much extra stuff. Now this one came with quite a few little extras. It got this little wobble pad thing, which I guess is a coaster or that. Stickle. And then some more stickles of uh, little chippy versions of the characters. But uh, the Coma we cut. Now, um, there's another company that's doing a limited one version of the Switch. I'm trying to remember who it was. But this is the PlayAsia version. Um, who, who was it? I can't remember. I, I know there was some company doing another version of this limited one of that. This is copy 1,323 of this game from PlayAsia. Uh, this edition comes with the game, manual, original soundtrack, and a certificate. So it doesn't sound like it got anything else too different. But, and that's another thing that's kind of nice about these limited editions. A lot of them all getting game manuals because, you know, a lot of people like having really nice game manuals, usually with artwork. That's what I liked it about game manuals. It, when they had um, a lot of artwork, like if you ever look at like some of the old Shining and Dragon Quest ones, even though in America they changed a lot of the Dragon Quest artwork, they still even still had a lot of pictures and stuff. And Japanese ones are always fun to look through. Um, this one's pretty nice. Uh, it has the title. Actually, both of these have the title... Well, it's popping out a little bit. Now, this is supposed to be like a whole game in like a, a Korean school, I believe, is what the setting is. If I never quickly, yeah, that's... They make these too tight. Yeah. I would assume the case is probably going to have the same... No? Oh, man, this thing is heavy. When they said this thing has a game manual, I'm going to... Pop the case open. Pop that chili. Oh my. But um. Yeah this thing's actually really heavy. There has to be a pretty hefty buckle in this thing. Looking at the back. Oh boy that's some. That looks very creepy on the bottom now. <laughs> I'll show it in a second. Come on plastic. I might try this out today. And it looks like it has a little voice cover on the inside, too. Ooh, yeah, that's a pretty lengthy, pretty hefty book. It has 63 pages in it. Ooh, that's a pretty decent. It's all in color. It has a bunch of pages on characters, environments, some artwork. So, yeah, this is pretty, pretty good little manual, that. It also feels like pretty good quality, too. It doesn't feel like cheap shit. So that also feels like pretty good quality. So it came with a soundtrack. Yeah, I'm liking this spine artwork thing. Uh, I know it's whipping off Sega Saturn games in Japan, but... 
I'm liking that. It has 21 songs on it. And like it said, it comes with a certificate that comes with a full thing of the cover art there. So that one's pretty nice too. Now this one I don't know anything about. I've never heard of this game. This is number 1,863. I don't know anything about this game. So I can't really comment on what it is. But it has what looks like a World of Warcraft gnome on the cover. So <laughs> I guess if you're into gnomes, you got that. Mm -hmm. do So where we got you? See, ooh, this one says it has an art book, a comic inside, along with the other goods on the back. So this one should have a few extra things to look at here. Let's see. Yeah, it is a little thicker than the other thing, so let's see. Yeah, there's the art book. There's the case there. Let's see, looking at... Looks like it's a top-down type game from the art, well, uh, from the screenshot, so... Got a nice art book, and the back has a comic, so I'm assuming... Yeah, so there's a comic and then an art book. So they're saving space there, but it got a uh, full color of the comic. So that's a nice little addition. I'm not sure if that's I'm not really a fan of games coming with comics because a lot of times if you get them like used or something, then um, you know you may not have the comic. Like for example, Enchanted Arms. Enchanted Arms came with a short comic that takes place before the game. And uh, without the context of the comic, one of the bosses doesn't really get that full impact that uh, it dissolves. Uh, this only has eight soundtracks. <laughs> so, um, this game apparently does not have a lot of music in it. That's always a shame. So, that should be everything. That's all the limited stuff, though. So going on the uh, progression of stuff, um, if you've been watching Persona 5 or haven't been watching it, um, I've been the Thought Palace of Persona 5, and right now we're doing free time, we're in Mementos doing some requests and stocking up on cash. I have four, 400,000 yen right now in my party along with a lot of stuff that sells, so I'm pretty good on money, but I'm probably going to get a little bit more extra in hopes I won't have to worry about for a while that... Um, I also beat, I had to, the previous game I was playing, the Dungeon Explorer game on the DS, I had to take a break from that, and I kind of did a cheesy, grindy level up system, because that game was getting really annoying, so um, I'm level 99 in that game, and I'm actually literally at the absolute final boss of that game, and it's still incredibly annoying, even though the character was max level, so, um... While I did the cheesy level up system for that, um, I played uh, Touch Detective two and a half, right? Uh, yeah, two and a half. Um, I got this a long time from a pawn, a local pawn shop back where I used to live, where I work, in the area that I work. Um, if you've watched the channel for a while, um, I did play the original Touch Detective and did a review on that. And um, I have to say I'm impressed. This one's a lot better than the first one. Not that the first game was bad, but um, aside from the usual kind of problems with um, uh, this type of puzzle exploring type game where some of the solutions are really fucking weird and shit or hide items in strange areas... Um, it's a pretty good improvement over the original. It adds a few new characters, a lot of returning faces, and some of the locations feel a lot more bigger instead of retrending old territory like the the original does. So I was kind of um, impressed with this one. So um, looked forward to a review of that in the future. So right now, I'm just trying to finish that Dungeon Explorer game on the DS. I might live stream 
the end of that because um, I did two attempts doing my breaks and I can't get past the boss before the final boss before my break is over. So I'm going to probably have to do that not at work. So um, I might do that as just a random live stream uh, just to show how meh that uh, game is. Um, aside from that, I did actually mention doing um, a live stream two times ago. Um, I'm trying to find someone to do some artwork for me that I want to use for like thumbnails and things. And um, I got one person I'm trying to think of a way to ask them that. Um, but uh, I'm trying to kind of do uh, kind of a up kind of thing with an icon kind of thing of that, if you know what I mean, that, so, um, that's something I'm trying to get done, but, um, I'm not having a lot of luck finding somebody who wants to, or, it, it's not necessarily, I'm either getting, the two scenarios I'm getting is either A, the person won't reply at all, or the person will reply once, and then I tell them what I am kind of want, with, like, an example, and they don't respond again, so... So, I'm not really asking for anything complicated, as far as in my opinion. So, oh, getting the sniffles. But um, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much all that's really going around right now. Um, but that's all new pickups. I did actually get a PS2 Slim from the Goodwill. But I had to return that because it didn't work. Now, it had a memory card, though. An official Sony memory card. So, I kept that. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, I had to return that for 20 bucks. So, I was a bit ashamed that didn't work. Because I've gotten three other systems. A PS2, a 360, and an NES. So, I was on a pretty good wide there with Goodwill systems working in that. So... But, that should be everything currently in that. Um, I still got some limited stuff that's going to be coming. Limited 1 has a lot of stuff that's in the oven baking. A lot of that stuff's probably going to all come at one time. So, there's probably going to be one day where this is just going to be a crap ton of Limited 1 stuff. So, But, um, yeah, there are quite a few interesting different Limited 1 companies. I'm thinking of doing a video talking about all of them. Kind of giving what I like and don't like about each one of that. But, um, that's pretty much all that's going on That So... Nothing else going on, so if you're watching this uh, after upload on YouTube on the main channel, um, feel free to leave a comment if you got a question about anything or like that. And um, if you're watching live, thank you for joining me, and I will see you next weekend or maybe some random stream after work during the week. Anyway, to the lose, thank you, peace out, and to the lose. mouse doesn't like the material of the table. <laughs>